here has ever in their life when an opportunity has come their way said no to things whether it be something with your children or something that happens in a in a group some sort of group you're in or an exciting opportunity that you just talk your head talks you out of it and you say no yeah me too so what if then there is not just one opportunity but two that sometimes you may need to choose which way do you go do you say yes to both or no to both or one to um, one to the other and not the other what if what if you gave yourself enough strength to just do it anyway and say yes as opportunities come in and when when faced with two opportunities don't you don't have to choose but just say both wouldn't that be fun I'm Tammy and I'm from Why You Can Too. And I'm gonna share with you today, just by doing that opportunity, just by taking up that challenge, how much has actually impacted my life. See, many of you would know me as a busy mom to three gorgeous children, a wife to a wonderful man, a multi-award winning entrepreneur set to make a difference, speaker, trainer, but what you don't know about me is sometimes in life when faced with all of these questions or opportunities, I get a little bit confused. What about you? Do you get confused as well? So during the course of this training with the awesome Lisa Nichols and David T.S. Woods and the last challenge that they posed to us over the Christmas period where we had to say yes to more opportunities over that month to create more stories, and both when posed with the choice. I want to share with you just what it did for me and how it actually changed my life. You see, I was busy one day and we're renovating our home and I had this big pile of mulch that I needed to put over the gardens. The mulch was put in the wrong part of my yard. I'm on two and a half acres. It was put down the bottom of the hill. So it's a lot of work to actually pick up the mulch, put it into the wheelbarrow, wheel it up the hill to put it on my gardens. I wasn't getting a lot of help from my children because they did help for a while, but it's just hard yakka. So I had a goal that I really wanted to get it done because the Christmas period was just around the corner and we had bought a, a trampoline for our gorgeous children and I wanted to put the trampoline right where they dumped that mulch. I could not believe that they dumped that mulch there. So it just meant that I had to work really hard to get it moved. Did I get it moved? No. Had I made a good attempt? Absolutely. So each day, instead of going to the gym, because it was a massive workout, I was filling up my wheelbarrow, putting it up, putting it onto the gardens, and it's a massive, massive, massive job. I was feeling worn out. I, I lacked motivation. I was like, oh. So then an opportunity came up where my girlfriend rang me and she had a spot available to have my hair cut and to feel pampered. You know, she's got a new salon and she needed some love and support. So when faced with it, when she actually called, here I am in my dirty work gear, sweating out because it was so hot over the Christmas holidays as well, and sweating, really, really sweating and really hot and dirty when she rang. And she asked me, hey, listen, I've got a spot available. I'd love it if you could come down and, and trial my salon. Now, when I was faced with that opportunity, I could have actually said, oh, no, look, it's not a real good time for me right now. Perhaps we can book in another time, another week, or, you know, whatever. Because the choice was I had to get out of bed that day and actually do the work. And then when the phone call came in, so that was the first choice that I said yes to, which I didn't want to, but I did. And it's like a big mountain, like a big... Um, hill like um, what David and Lisa taught us early on with our mountains you know um, and I, it actually felt like that there's a mountain and it was like a metaphor that I'm digging through to get through to the other side now every day I'm doing something it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller so I'm getting closer and closer and closer to my goal so that was my first choice when I said yes I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get out of bed because I could have actually employed someone to come and do it but no yes it's a challenge I'm gonna do it so I said yes that was my first yes. When I was faced with this other one, when I could go and get pampered, I was like, well, how can I go get pampered? I mean, I'm all dirty, I'm all sweaty. She doesn't want to see me like this. Um, you know, I've got to get this work done. 
but instead I remember what the challenge was. The challenge was to say yes, which I successfully did do, and the other challenge was to say both when opportunities came up. So what I decided to do is not allow my head to kick in and say no, but what I decided to do was say yes to that opportunity. So I was able to go to my friend's cellar and help her out by allowing her to pamper me. I felt totally amazing. You know, it really lifted my spirits and actually allowed me to be more motivated to do more and more and more with that big pop. So you can see by allowing myself to do these two opportunities, that's what it did for me. It really raised my energy vibration and it allowed me to achieve way more than what it would have done if I had not have done that because otherwise I would have just been digging, digging, digging and it would have just been, you know, um, frustrating. But I chose that path. So I have to say a massive thank you to everyone that's part of this challenge, of the Train the Trainer to Challenge. Everyone that's been on the calls, everyone that's pushed, held us all up when we're faced with different challenges, allowed us to share these stories, these opportunities, and provided the valuable feedback. Because without you guys, I wouldn't have the confidence to do what I need to do. I know that I need to step into my shoes, and this was a story and a metaphor, what we had to do. There's more to come. You see, my stories or my stories are very, very powerful. I know that I can help many, many people by sharing the lessons that I've learned through the experiences that I've been through. And by being part of a wonderful group like you guys, it actually allows me to stay committed, to stay focused, to allow me to continue to work on myself and to come up with better ways. So my heart goes out to you. I have to say a massive, massive thank you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next call. Remember, we absolutely do create our lives. So live the life that you deserve and remember why you can too. Bye.